Everybody loves zombies. I mean, how can you not love a decaying piece of meat whose sole purpose in life, or should I say in death, <laughs> is to eat your brains? If like me, you don't have that thing called brain, then you have nothing to worry about. We're in the clear. However, if you're one of those mighty pants, then you need at least two things in order to survive. Good friends that will watch your back, and a trustworthy gun that you can point at your enemies. Good luck with finding friends, I decided to skip that imaginary part and jump directly to the more realistic and interesting part, and that's choosing the perfect gun. I guess you could just watch some top 10 on guns, or I guess read some Wikipedia articles, but that shit's boring, and come on, we all know what this channel is all about. So instead of learning how to read, I decided to make one of my AIs find it out by himself. Remember Chad? Yeah, the MLG360 no scoper from my previous videos with zombies. Who can be more knowledgeable about zombies than the guy who 360 no scopes them all day long? No one. Here is how it all works. Chad will have to choose between three different types of weapons, a shotgun, assault rifle and a sniper rifle. Each of the weapons has different stats, such as magazine capacity, which is the amount of bullets the weapon holds before it needs to reload, reload speed, the amount of seconds it takes the weapon to reload, penetration, <laughs> the amount of zombies the bullet can penetrate before breaking, Range is the distance the bullets will travel before disappearing, and finally, rate of fire is, well, the rate of fire. The shotgun kicks ass and shoots three bullets simultaneously, but only at a short range. Also, it has only two bullets after what it needs to reload. The rifle has very high rate of fire, and I've set the amount of bullets in the mag to be equal to my IQ. Then. The sniper has only 5 bullets in the mag and very low rate of fire, but the bullet can penetrate walls. Yep, a sniper bullet will go brrrr through zombies and walls, so in theory it can kill 10 zombies standing in a row with one bullet. Our apex soldier Chad Mozambique, yeah. can have a preferred weapon chosen for him, but if set to none, he will have to decide which weapon he likes the most and use it as efficiently as possible. So in the end not only we'll know which weapon is the best, but we'll also have a strategy on how to better use it. I'm already hyped. Oh, and also on Discord I asked you what weapon do you think would suit Chad the most, and most of you decided for a shotgun. So there will also be a run where the preferred gun is the shotgun. Alright, enough talking, let's get to action. Initially, the agent was as dumb as a baby, and similar to a newborn, he had to learn how to walk and how to shoot zombies of course. After hours of ballet, he finally got the grasp of it and started killing his first zombies. Just, just look at him. Oh, they grow so fast. Anyways, fast forward hundreds of hours of training and let's see what the Apex version is capable of. Chad starts by picking the shotgun and immediately swapping it for the rifle. Then he checks every spawn point looking for zombies. He sees the zombie, and since it is his first encounter, it seems like he shit his pants and started nervously spraying the bullets in all the direction except the zombies. After inhaling and calming himself, he reloads the AK-47 and kills his first enemy. But just to make sure there is no one hiding in the wall, he fires some more rounds into it. Meanwhile, the next zombie appeared. But this time Chad decides to use the shotgun instead. After tripping once and accidentally firing the first shell, he closes the distance, stares into the eye of his enemy and pulls the trigger. Next we can see a similar pattern in his actions, closing the distance and blasting the opponent in the face. Simple but effective. It's funny how he always fires a warning shot before killing the zombie. What a wholesome fella, am I right? It also seems that he is quite good at keeping a safe distance, however I can see a flaw in his strategy. Whenever he is fighting a zombie, his back is unprotected. Perhaps he should turn around from time to time. The shotgun massacre goes on for a little longer, scoring double and even triple kills sometimes. But then Chad makes a critical mistake. He allows himself to get trapped by a zombie once he got close to the wall. His agility and training did not betray him and he successfully escaped the danger, but it was a very close call. 
It seems that now Chad is more confident in his aim and decides to try the AK once more. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn! Just look at him one tapping these bitches! Oh right, I guess he wasn't warmed up at the beginning, but look at this beast now! It's not the zombies who are coming to him, it's Chad who goes to the spawners in search of fresh blood. <laughs> and what the hell is that? Is he taunting them with a dance? I mean, I'm not even surprised after all the blandering he did in the previous video, but still, I was not expecting that. Nice. In my previous experiments with Chad, he was quite confused if you remember. He did kill a zombie here and there, but mostly he was there just to have a good time. And that, by the way, is always the right attitude. This time, however, we can see a calculated and tactical warrior that knows exactly how, where and from which distance to shoot zombies. This time he actually has a strategy, and this strategy seems to work out. Just look at this killing spree! Rushing and quickly eliminating the enemy and then returning to the center of the map where he has the best field of view and can decide on the next target. Beautiful. However, did you notice? He's doing the same mistake. He never checks his back when fighting a zombie. He's too focused on the current target and doesn't even bother to look behind. That seems like a bold decision, especially in a situation like this one where enemies can come from four different directions. He is looking around quite often, however, he is not doing that while fighting zombies. And that might be a problem in future. It seems to have worked so far because of his agility and reaction speed and luck, but you can't always rely on chance, so in the end he had to pay for his rookie mistake. Oh, no. Never mind, he just got headbutted by a zombie. What a way to die, especially after such a kill streak. Well, as you can see, now the preferred weapon is set to shotgun, which means that the agent is rewarded every time he picks the shotgun and punished whenever it drops it. Thus, the agent will be motivated to use the shotgun over any other weapon. This time it seems that Chad is slightly more stressed and agitated. Nonetheless, with a little bit of panic, he successfully murders his opponent. This start is more or less similar to the previous one, where Chad, keeping a safe distance, unloads the shotgun mag into his opponent. Oh, he's slightly stuck. Okay, no worries. It was a close one indeed, but... In the end, he managed to get out and kill the zombie in time, so he survived this one. Good on him. And once again, we can see the same mistake being made. Chad is not looking back when he's fighting a zombie. Wait, what? Why the hell did he pick the sniper? <laughs> I guess this is the MLG blood in his veins. Oh, he's poking him to the death with the barrel. Now I'm sure that it's the Chad's MLG nature, he's doing 360 no scopes with a sniper rifle. And I swear, I did nothing. The preferred gun is set to shotgun, and I have no clue why the hell he is using the sniper. Well, that looks like a legit strategy. Sniper rifle for long distances, and shotgun for close quarters. I wasn't expecting this level of tactics from the happy little fella from previous time. So proud. The killing spree continues. Oh, by the way, hopefully the YouTube algorithm won't find this video too violent because of the amount of times I've said these kind of words. I guess that is another experiment. And now he's back to the shotgun. It is good to see that he did not completely forget about it in favor of the sniper rifle. Killing some more zombies before casually scoring a double kill and walks away without even looking. Typical Chad. And he's back to the sniper rifle. Oh shit! He used it to kill two guys in a row and once he was safe, he swapped it back to the shotgun. Nice. As long as the enemies are not overwhelming him, he's using the shotgun. 
He goes to each one of them, stares into their souls and then blasts them. However, the moment he feels surrounded, he goes back to using the sniper rifle. I bet now he will try and grab the sniper rifle since he is getting surrounded. Yep, nice. And starts cleaning the map. This is actually really smart and perhaps this time he will outperform his previous best result because so far everything looks really good. Oh shit. Well, um, never mind. Alright, the results were much better than I've anticipated. Besides going into a zombie killing frenzy, Chad managed to come up with few different strategies. So kids, what did we learn from today's video? Zombie apocalypse rule number one. If your hands are shaky and you can't hit shit, then most probably you should use a shotgun instead of a rifle or a sniper rifle. Rule number two. If your aim is better than a potato, you might consider using the AK blade. And lastly, if you plan on using the sniper rifle, you better have a shotgun somewhere nearby for close range fights. Well, now I feel much more prepared for a doomsday. Alright penguins, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and a comment down below. If you'd like to participate in choosing the topic for the next video, join the Discord server. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Now there will be some channel information, so if for some weird reason you're not interested in that, well, you're free to go. Alright, now we finally can talk. I know I haven't released a video in quite a while, but as you might already know from the Discord channel, I was in my last university year and yes, I was because I successfully finished it, so I'm finally a free person. Well, until I find a job I guess. But at least now I have much more free time, so there will definitely be more videos on the channel. And perhaps I'll do some streaming once more. We'll see about that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.